Robert Reed Church Sr. was an African-American entrepreneur, businessman, and landowner in Memphis, Tennessee, who began his rise during the American Civil War. He was the first African-American millionaire in the South. His total wealth probably reached $700,000, not around a million. Church built a reputation for great wealth and influence in the business community. He founded Solvent Savings Bank, the first black-owned bank in the city, which extended credit to blacks so they could buy homes and develop businesses. As a philanthropist, Church used his wealth to develop a park, playground, auditorium, and other facilities for the black community who were excluded by state-enacted racial segregation from most such amenities in the city. Robert Reed Church was born a slave in 1839 in Holly Springs, Mississippi, as the son of Emmeline, a mixed-race woman from Virginia. His mother was a slave and his father was Captain Charles B. Church, a white steamship owner from Virginia who operated along the Mississippi River. According to family accounts, Emmeline was the daughter of an enslaved Malay Malagasy princess and of a white planter from Lynchburg. Robert's mother, Emmeline, died in 1851 when he was 12. His father, Captain Church, began taking Robert along on his river journeys to and from New Orleans. The youth worked as a steward of the steamship's mess hall, picking up business acumen and contacts, including future Louisiana political leader James Lewis and saving money earned. In 1862, Robert Church bought a bar in Memphis, which he eventually traded for a saloon and billiard room. He must have been free by then to buy property, and his father may have vouched for him. In 1860, the black population of the city was 3,000, but it rapidly increased as fugitive slaves fled from rural plantations to union lines in the occupied city. Church had many customers for his businesses and became influential in the developing black community which reached 20,000 by 1865. The next year, post-war tensions in the city erupted in the Memphis riots of 1866 when a white ethnic Irish mob attacked South Memphis, killing 45 blacks and injuring many more and destroying houses, churches, and businesses. The dramatic demographic changes have resulted in competition among ethnic Irish who dominated the city's police and fire departments, decommissioned black union soldiers who have been stationed nearby, and other African Americans. Church was shot and wounded in a saloon during the riot. A total of two whites died. By 1878-1879, Church had acquired considerable wealth. Familiar with the high death tolls from the 1873 yellow fever epidemic, he moved his family to safety outside the city during the even worse epidemic of 1878, as well as the following year. As the city was depopulated by the flight of 25,000 people during the 1878 epidemic and death toll of more than 5,000, the land was devalued. Church saw a great opportunity in Memphis real estate and had the resources to buy up property holdings throughout the city. He acquired commercial buildings, some residential housing, and bars in the red light district, as well as undeveloped land. It is estimated that in later years he was able to collect approximately $6,000 a month in rent from his properties. Multiple sources refer to Church as the first black millionaire although it is now generally accepted that his wealth reached about $700,000. Popular myth holds that Church bought the first $1,000 bond that aided restoration of the city's credit after the epidemic, but city records do not support that. With his immense wealth, Church funded the development of high-quality facilities for black Memphians who were excluded by the state law of racial segregation from many white institutions at the time. He developed a public park, a playground, a concert hall, and an auditorium. Church used the properties for related philanthropy. He helped sponsor graduation ceremonies, political rallies, and shows in the parks for the city's African Americans. He also hosted and funded a free annual Thanksgiving meal for the black poor. In 1906, Church, Josiah T. Settle, M. L. Clay, and T. H. Hayes established the Solvent Savings Bank, Memphis's first black bank, and Church served as the founding president. He ensured that blacks could gain access to loans for businesses and homes to advance their lives. Not much is known about Church's personal life. 
He rarely, if ever, wrote personal correspondence and never made a public speech despite his wide popularity and influence in Memphis. Church married three times. His first wife, Louisa Ayers, was of mixed race, born into slavery. They both supported education for their two children, a daughter and son. Their daughter, Mary Church Terrell, was one of the first black American women to earn a college degree. She became a teacher, then a principal, as well as a civil rights activist. In 1909, she was a founding member of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. And in 1896, the first black woman to be appointed to the school board of a major city, Washington, D.C. Church and Louisa divorced. Secondly, he married Anna Wright. They also had a son and daughter. Their son, Robert Reed Church Jr., became a businessman, taking over his father's enterprises. He became politically influential, establishing the Lincoln League in 1916 to work to register black voters, fundraise to help cover poll taxes, an advocate for the interests of African Americans in the Republican Party. Within a short time, he signed up 10,000 new black voters in Memphis and worked with E.H. Crump in his machine politics. Church served as an advisor to Republican presidents in the 1920s but declined any political appointments. Church eventually married a third time after Anna died. The senior church generally chose to stay outside the politics of his era which enabled him to maintain influence among both white and black Memphians. He was chosen as a delegate for William McKinley to the 1900 Republican Convention. Church died August 2, 1912 after a brief illness. He is buried in Elmwood Cemetery on the south side of downtown Memphis.